Hi, this is Aaron, and welcome to Let's Play Bioshock. Um, Andy and Justin, they're here, but um, they're too busy gorging themselves on pizza to introduce themselves. So I, uh, I like pizza. <laughs> so and turtles. Especially on I pizza. I like frog legs. Shut up! Okay, so, um, yeah, continuation on from our last episode. We're at Olympus Heights in the Mercury Suites. We're just about to get started, and I'm pretty sure we're in the middle of a firefight, so... Do this shit! Have at she! Delicious as cargo. Fuck me! No. Oh, Big Daddy won. <laughs> Almost. Come on, come on. Attack, attack. Do it, do it now! Pussy. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> he angered the whale. <laughs> Click. No, I think the whale is constipated. Maybe both. He's angry because he's constipated. Duh. Ooh, easy hack. We could put in a little advertisement plug for the pizza we're eating, but they're not paying us, so screw that. That is an off brand. You've probably never heard of it. It's hipster pizza. Oh, hey, would you look at that? A weapon upgrade station. Hmm. Upgrade your camera. Ha! <laughs> I wish I could. Go with the crossbow or the grenade launcher. You know what? Fuck it. Do the pistol. Okay. You added a red light. Yeah. You know they do yeah. It's all Shit. I think there's more modification in this now. Just think. Hey, it's more machine now than that. Just think. That grew out of a little baby in a carriage. Oh, yes. yes. I didn't shoot you, Big Daddy. Stop yelling. Quit your bitching, Daddy. I'm not even gonna try. If I can't have it, no one can. <laughs> so, yeah. Anna Culpepper's house. Um... Okay, this is going to be meaningless to those of you who are just watching the uh, Let's Play because this actually involves knowledge of the um, actual audio diaries. So, Canon. Um, click. I wonder what I get for fully researching cameras. Besides the satisfaction for researching cameras. Yeah, because it's very satisfying. Hey, I never said it was a lot. God friggin' damn you, Fontaine! Turn my fist to you, but business is business. Don't let it get you down. Won't make a difference when this whole place is fish food. Yeah, so in case you've been noticing, every time. I have a heart attack or whatever the hell that is. Um, your health goes down, so you want to make sure you've upgraded your health as much as you can by this point. Your maximum health goes down, we should add. Oh yes, your maximum health, that's what I meant. So I've actually gotten to a point where it's been lower than what the starting health at the beginning was, so uh... Oh shit. I shit me you just call me a shit beater? <laughs> I love that insult. Come back! I need to photograph you. I believe the proper term is pounder. Shit pounder. Shut up, filthy hot knocker. Fudge packer. 
Salad tosser? Oh, that's great. Die, you lazy sack of crap. Yes. Because you're about as interesting as tuna salad. There's celery in it. Oh look, cats. Take that team fortress too. What the? There was more. I'm not even gonna. Uh, oh, you said cats. I thought you said hats. Never mind. That joke made no sense. Ooh, two of them. I thought he said hats too. It still made no sense. Copy. And alcohol. Well, I hate hats. So yeah, if you're low on first aid kits, this is actually a pretty good place to go. So now up the stairs so I can kill that son of a bitch. I don't want to get out of your office. It's my office now, bitch. I think they want you to run. I think he called you a slut. I think he missed. That was a warning shot. That's cute. Real cute. Why, thank you. I can't return the compliment. Damn you for sidestepping to the left slightly. Well, luckily my secu Oh, he's in water. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, so that guy's electric, so, um... Standing in water doesn't help. He's electric. The electric boogaloo. Ooh, piano. Yay. I think he's dead now, so I'm gonna go. Not dead yet. Oh. I just walked over its corpse. It has a name, thank you very much. No, it doesn't. So, um, yeah, this is Anna Culpepper. Yeah. She died masturbating. Actually, she was killed by Andrew Ryan's security chief, Sullivan, who then committed suicide because he did that. Ain't life in Rapture Grand. Oh. You know what? Fishing and corpses on the water. Hey, it's what I usually do in my free time. Good. It um, helps out cleaning a lake after I dump all those corpses in the water. It's a vicious circle like that. I, for one, take no part. You make the corpses, you dumbass. That's what you're doing with them? I said landfill, Justin. Landfill. God. Amateur. Okay, so this next part, if you haven't killed Sandra Cohen, good for you, because this is the part that... I hear you. Die, you cunt! Illegal! This is illegal! You're illegal. Great, she's a lawyer. I'm be deported, bitch. Why well, say the word bitch too much? Fine, I'll be more colorful next time. Yay! 
pretty colors. What is he mumbling to himself? Don't know. Is that another cat? He needs more time. And that's Moonbeam absent. Yay, hallucinations. Sink. Okay, so now it's actually time to meet Cohen. Again. Again. That's him dancing with uh, another splicer. You. I'm just going to ignore them. <laughs> yeah, because, um, well, his bookcase is on fire, so I thought that'd be a little more interesting. <laughs> the burning bookcase is much more interesting than the two fiendish ghouls dancing over there. I see you're still testing your wings, little horse. Stay and enjoy the dance. So, um, yeah, he's trying to tell me not to disturb them. I think this is going to disturb them. Ooh, it's an ice houdini splicer. Wait, didn't you say that that was him dancing? It was supposed to be, but, um, guess not. Now, the reason that you were supposed to spare his life originally is because that door that he just popped out of um, won't open unless you don't kill him. Whatever. Hey, Cohen! God, I've been wanting to do that. But he has such colorful language and artistic. This is for thinking I thought your art was offensive, you fucking twat waddle. Hey, twat waddle's my thing. Alright, cunt nugget. I'll be sure to take his picture to add it to the masterpiece. Yeah, because actually, um... You can take his picture. And I've already done it, but you get an achievement slash trophy called Irony. <laughs> irony! Except it's not actually ironic. And you know... Is it? Well, he, he, he was the one who made you take pictures of all the people you well, I know, but what's the definition of irony? I don't know. I think I Jimi just... Hendrix before his time. No, if I was playing it on fire with my teeth, that would be. So uh, now that he's dead, I can go up here to his room. Jesus Christ, this guy has the most un- God fucking- Did he just call me a dog? No, he was bringing up, you know, the port snapping of the puppy's neck. I believe. Not foreshadowing or anything. But. Mm. Oh, and uh, yeah, another uh, Power to the People station. <laughs> Chemical thrower, grenade launcher. Um, let's see. Do you want to not be hurt by your grenade launcher? I don't think you have that problem currently. So, make the chemical thrower shoot further. So, keep exploring his uh, room. This is like the creepy Hugh Hefner mansion. First aid kits. And corpse in the bathtub. I wonder if he... Jesus! Corpse on the toilet. Both covered in plaster. I wonder if he bathes with it. Mm. You ever heard of a Cleveland steamer? That's how he uses the bathroom. Uh. No! Do 
these things disgust me. What the? It's bleeding! Why is it bleeding? The thing shouted by every 12-year-old girl. Uh. That's worse than my joke at the beginning. Can I kill him? Please, no. can I kill him? Yeah, there's supposed to be an audio diary here somewhere, but... We don't listen to him anyway, screw it. Yeah. Keep searching if you, when you play this if you want to find it, but uh, we're leaving. Because I think I need another big daddy to kill. Oh, corpse in a tree. Oh, shit. I will get you a picture, you goddamn splicer. I take your picture. I take your picture. I take your picture, dude. You Good. Now that I'm done with this shit. <laughs> Suck bees, lady. <laughs> bees frighten me. It's time my enemies share my sweat. You are just like tossing her around. Yeah. You're right. How come she doesn't explode when that happens? It's the common trait of all pyromaniacs. You don't explode when you set us on fire. Except after I killed her, then she burst into flames. Well, I mean, she's carrying, like, tons of explosives in that box of false hope. And? And the fire should make boom go and boom. Part of being a pyromaniac. Talk, talk, talk. If there's another one, I swear to God, I'm going to be pissed. Just more mouths, please. Our explosive boxes are fireproof. Welcome really? To the this station doesn't have any... Eve hypos? That makes me angry! I like you divine when you're angry. Your emotions lack subtlety. People don't just say how they feel. That makes me feel angry! You can't just say how I feel. Yes, okay. Remember what we said last time. No, or earlier episode, no singing. No, that was no singing Disney songs. Well, no singing anyway. Stop it. I'll hit you with the Mountain Dew. Without even a scratch, you got more than leprechauns watching over you. For some reason, the concept of leprechauns watching over me is very, very creepy. <laughs> you see too many horror movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh like God. Leprechaun 3. <laughs> I could do this by or myself. Leprechaun God in the hood. No, no, I thought that was Leprechaun 3. I don't remember. Or Leprechaun back to the hood. You'll be hanging from the street lamp! <laughs> or Leprechaun in space. They have that abomination. Yup. I've seen it. I saw it in hell. It's right next to Jason in space. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. So, yep, Tannenbaum's lab. Or Su Chong's lab, whatever. Ooh. I thought that said cleavage. <laughs> you are a Shut it. Fontaine to become some kind of boogeyman man in rapture. We have all these. Shut gives it. Gives him power. But peel back flim flam and a humbug. He's just another con man. And like all con men, he worries he'll end up on the wrong side of grief. That's why he commissioned a lot of 192. The antidote to the mental control plasmid. Fontaine said I'd better not tell anybody about the antidote. Not even Tenenbaum. And Su Chong is inclined to listen. 
I knew there was something to that. Always secret when with Su Chang, always secret. He must have this lot 192 in his labs near Apollo Square. I once stole a dose and brought it back to my flat on the second floor, but those apes would have taken it back to Fontaine's penthouse upstairs. I never knew what lot 192 was for, but if Su Chang was doing something in secret, on this I keep my eye. <laughs> These stereotypes sure do have a lot to say. Anyway, we've made about 8,000 pedophilia jokes. Do you think I'm creepy for thinking something said something about investigating cleavage? No, I was saying shut it because that was important. I was talking to Andy. And I thought it was creepy mostly because it wasn't even close to cleavage investigating. It was inventor. The first three letters of both of them are the same. Recognize his genetic structure. With half his genes, you ain't immune, but you got just enough to throw their metallic mooks off their game. Actually, the first four letters. Sort of. Who cares? Spelling is dumb. I think you're a big daddy and no, or a little sister. Hey, I saw a thingy that requires a code. You find the code up here. Who keeps doing that? But can't you just hack the door code and skip all of this? But then we would miss out on all of this surveillance on surveillance action. Who keeps throwing shit at me? Okay. Wait, how did I set off an alarm? Well, the camera, camera behind, behind you. you. There's also a bot shutdown panel up that ramp. I'm going for this first. Okay, bitch, now it's time to dance. Dance, magic, dance. So you did listen to Cohen after all. Don't you disrespect me! But again, you're a woman. I'll disrespect you all I want. I like how I just shot her like 12 times. She was strong enough to break the chains and get out of the kitchen, so obviously she should be able to take a few bullets. Oh yeah, where's the logic in how armor-piercing rounds aren't that good against unarmored targets? If you get shot with something, you still get shot. Well, the logic behind it is that armor-piercing rounds are supposed to be, you know, made to go through armor before doing the whole mushrooming effect, which means they pretty much go straight through fleshy targets, making it so it doesn't do as much damage. Conversely, anti-personnel rounds don't do that much damage against armored targets because they mushroom too soon, so... Uh, that's pretty much the logic behind that. HA! Totally got it! Yet. I grabbed her death grenade before it exploded. Does that mean there's anything in the box of false hope? Nope, it's still the box of false hope. Damn! I know, right? Squatter, parasite, get out of my house! Then where are you? Run away! Shit. See? Now get back to where you're going, moron! You think that I'm then dumb? Then work for long! Sure, sure. No! Don't keep on making it! In the face, you cunt.
explosions and explosions and more explosions. It's like a Michael Bay movie in here. Except this actually has decent story. It's just Aaron chasing around a knife as well. You mean me killing one because of my semi-automatic shotgun. Oh my god! There's a grenade in the box of false hope that I can't Fucking pick up. Fucking shit! Because I can't pick it up because I have full grenade ammo. Oh my god, there's actually something in the box of false hope. I told you there would be. No, you didn't! I'm pretty sure I did. Let's go back to what was it, the fourth episode? Yeah, we're not going to. So let me get this straight. You say you're right because we get something in the third to last level, I think? That you said something in the f second level. Yes. You, sir, are a moron. A Mormon, but I'm from Earth. Please, can I hit him? No. Again, if you're Mormon and you have negative complaints, we don't give a shit. Then what are you doing on the internet? <laughs> if you have, if you're offended easily, yeah. Why are you on YouTube? Jump. Derby, derby, derby. Just to make sure. Oh, hey! He was alive! Not for long. I love this gun. Fire! Fire! Solves everything. <laughs> hey, Aaron, I think it's time to take the antipsychotics again. I can't see straight enough to pick up my alcohol. <laughs> uh, guide to alcohol. Stop drinking when the middle fairy looks hot. Oh, God. <laughs> Middle fairy was Natasha, so no. All right. Yay, meat shield. <laughs> Yay, a you invent. Why does that always happen? Oh, such a pretty pink color. Adam's the ultimate score, kid. No more grifts, no more scams. A monopoly on Adam makes standard oil look like the Piggly Wiggly. All that's left oh, what? is burying the Piggly the Wiggly. It's no uh, it's an STD. No, it's not. It's, I don't know. I think it's like a store or something. People rob it. All I remember is the old brother were art thou quote. Uh, even that piggly wiggly I knocked over in Yazoo. Ah, oh, she said you was guilty of those charges. Well, I was lying. Looks like things have gone busto between Fontaine and his little German bean hole. Why a guy like Fontaine would waste his time with that spooky crowd when he could be getting the gravy from any dish he chooses is beyond the understanding of this paparazzi. Even reset the door code to 5744. Maybe to be double sure that depot don't sprout up in his yard again. Okay, so that code is very important because if you remember, I think Andy pointed out, there's a code at the very bottom elevator that you're going to need that for. Oh, and uh, little fun fact, uh, yeah, Tannenbaum, Fontaine was hitting that. Oh, yeah, he was. Uh. Yeah. Dirty and Kraut. And at that, I think that's, that's a good time to it. end the episode before we get into any more um, 
whatever you want to call it. Hijinks. Yeah, so next episode, I'm going to explore her apartment, giggity. And, uh, and rifle through her drawers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, yep, this has been Let's Play Bioshock. This is Aaron. And Andy. And Justin. We'll see you next episode.